I'm also joined by another special guest. Joining me now is Sara Idan, it's former Miss Iraq and activist living in the US joining us. Sara, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, you've seen this entire fight uh, and the Muslim world, you know, up in arms against Israel. We've seen a lot of support coming in for Hamas as well, even in the aftermath of the October 7 attack. We all know where Iraq, your country stands, where Iran stands. But you feel differently. Could you first begin by telling me why is it that you are not condemning Israel? In fact, you are condemning Hamas and Hamas as a terror group. First begin by telling me that. Well, first of all, anyone who have read history, who knows about history, um, they have seen we've had a really shameful history in the Middle East when it came not only to the Jewish people, but also to other religious minorities like the Yazidis, the Assyrians, mm. the Armenians. And I think when it when it comes to the Jewish people, the Jewish people already know they've already been through it, not only in Europe with the Holocaust, mm. but only also in the Middle East. If you look at Iraq back in the 50s and the 40s during the Farhud, if you look at Iran, mm. um, Egypt, Morocco, Libya, um, hundreds of thousands of Jews have been persecuted, have been expelled from the countries. And I think they know exactly the mentality uh, of the Arab, of the Muslim world, sadly the majority, mm. um, who cannot sympathize because it's a different religion. So... When it came to Israel and what happened with Hamas, I think, you know, the entire world, we all saw that Hamas basically attacked Israel. They invaded, they massacred their people, women, children, they raped them. And it was an entirely like something we have only seen only with ISIS. Right. And what really amazes me is because, you know, I've watched my people and I remember what happened when ISIS, you know, when they held ground in Iraq and in Syria. We had we had to go to war against them. You know, we we sent armies to fight ISIS until we kicked them, you know, from outside our countries. Mm. So what I don't understand is why when this happened against the Jewish people and Israel responds, Arab people are upset. Mm. You know, I don't think anyone um, has the right to speak on behalf of Israel. Only Israel can speak on its behalf and only they can decide and only they know what is best for them because they know the mentality. And they also have watched our countries being quiet when their people were massacred. And better to be safe than sorry. Um, we're also witnessing that a lot of young people, even in college campuses all around the world, in USA where you live, are coming out in support of Hamas, despite the brutality with which they attack the Israeli people. Why do you think that is? Um, from my understanding, from all those people that I've actually spoken to, whether it's on social media or on campuses, you know, as you know, I'm an activist and I have spoken at many campuses here in the U.S. and I've even had arguments with um, some of these um, groups mm. like uh, Justice for Palestine and they truly do not believe in Israel existence. So to them, they see Hamas as freedom fighters. They see them as... Um, those like power that's gonna liberate Palestine because in their head there mm. is no country called Israel mm. and if when you when you speak to them when you talk to them um, and they're honest with you they say we don't believe in Israel existence they believe Hamas are fighting the occupiers mm. so of course they're gonna excuse the behavior mm. um, I think many of them they jump on the wagon of the anti-Semites and of the people who hate Israel and they attack Israel and they say oh look what Israel is doing and all of that but when it comes down to it if you ask them how much percentage do they believe that the Jewish people are entitled to in the yes. land of Israel yes. that is the real question because mm. I have not met a single one of them an Arab Muslim Hmm. or those people who actually believe that, Ju that the Jewish people deserve a state. Their hmm. slogan is, um, from the from river the to river the to sea, the Palestine sea. will be free, which means the er hmm. eradication of the state of Israel. So hmm. you can't even have a conversation with those people. 
So, are you suggesting that at the end of the day, this isn't just about the land and who's the rightful claimant, that this is about Muslim fundamentalism at the end of the day, basically a religious war, a religious fight against another religion? Absolutely. It is absolutely about um, uh, Islamists and about extremism. But what is what really has surprised me is mm. that before this, I used to think that this only came from radicals, mm. like, you know, people who are extremely religious. But from my conversation on Twitter, on Instagram and dealing with, by the way, I lost so many friends over this, even mm. people who are, I would call secular Muslims who mm. have, have not seen pray every day and, you know, and do all these things. Um, they all stand with Hamas. They all don't believe in Israel existence. They all have posted from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Um, and that's a sad reality. They just don't, they just cannot comprehend that Israel, that the Jewish people, um, that this land belongs to them. Hmm. They always view it as a Palestinian land invaded by the Jewish people. When you talk to them about history, yes. they don't care. But this hmm. only applies to us. Like if you look at Mesopotamia, like hmm. we, you know, we have expanded all the way to Asia and Europe and the same thing with many empires in the world. Yes. But Sadly, when it comes to Israel, and they know this, and this is even mentioned in our religion, it's mentioned in Quran, it's mentioned in our history books, and there are all these evidences, they still don't give uh, the Jewish people um, any respect, because I think it's all about, let's support our people, let's support our, our religion, hmm. um, and they just cannot sympathize with other people from outside their religion. You know, there's been a lot of fighting that is taking place in Gaza between Hamas and Israel. And now there's been this news of this hospital attack coming under attack. Of course, there are two different versions coming out, whether it was an Israeli attack or a Hamas or Islamic Jihad missile. Uh, but fundamentally, this is also about civilian lives being lost. There is only one version. There is only one version, and we've all seen it on Al Jazeera, which is the Qatari-funded, Muslim Brotherhood-funded channel. Hmm. The irony of it is that when the explosion happened, they jumped to attack and say it's Israel. How can any news media outlet confirm hmm. who attacked this in two minutes? And the irony of it is that they had an interview with one of their reporters in Gaza and they were filming and you can see the footage, you can yes. see the rocket when it was launched and then it exploded in midair. It was a faulty rocket and then it fell sadly on the people of Gaza and they cut the interview short and mm. they were like, let's wrap it up, let's wrap it up. And anyone who can see this interview mm. can see that. And besides that, you have seen as well, I'm, I'm sure that the IDF also hmm. said that they had no hand in this. And hmm. from what we have observed, you know, in the past few days, the IDF, they never um, deny anything. Yes. When they bombed Gaza and they did bomb Gaza in certain areas, they said, we bombed, we bombed this, we bombed that. Um, they have no reason to lie to the public about why they're bombing. Um, and it's been confirmed by the IDF spokesperson, hmm. by the media, and especially by the footage that we have seen on Al Jazeera channel. Okay. I leave it at that. Of course, this, is, uh, this could have some sort of impact on what happens on ground or maybe not. Uh, but Sarah Idan, thanks a lot for speaking to us. Uh, some of those voices that are not willing to go by what is being said by the larger crowd in this fight. I have to slip into a very short break now.